starting right now One, two, three We breathe it in We feel our hearts, they're pounding Rising up to feel the fire Dance wild through our veins We take a chance and know we'll never be the same Giving it all Hey guys, how you doing? How you doing? Uncle Craig here, and it is the end of the day. No, I didn't work today, but I, I well, that's a lie. I worked a little bit at the end of the day because I just uh, offloaded some cement rings and put them in place over here. By the way, I backed my truck up underneath my green canopy, and uh, so good to know because it had truck clearance. So, push comes shove, can turn this into covered parking. <laughs> anyway, there's the cement rings. This will be, actually the bottom one is uh, full of dirt. That's just a base pedestal for a little bit of gravity flow. But these three, that'll just be for water, Whoa, for the garden. I actually tilled it yesterday um, if you saw from the other videos, it pretty much all looked like this. All nasty big old rocks. The bigger ones, they chucked aside, but I got the uh, bush cutter on there with that tiller attachment and just, you know, worked it, man. It was brutal though, I tell you. you. You know, you're, whoa. I found that even though the thing moves forward, that if you go set it down and you just walk backwards with it that's kicking up the most or digging down the most or whatever that's most effective trying to go forward it just hits everything and bounces up and it doesn't seem to chop it up or what all but anyway that was my big work cats are at it they love this time of day for some reason twilight you know the wind, uh, we were actually out all day. Out all day at the local Obito, which is like the community center for government or whatever. And they were sponsoring a basket weaving workshop. There's like 25 ladies in there. And of course, hey, Falang, you wanna go? Yeah, sure, what the hell. I was crippled from yesterday of work anyway. So I went there, we spent all day over there. And uh, yeah, I made a basket, man. I learned how to make a basket. And while I was there, I got the ding, ding, ding message on this, uh, you can see what it is actually. It is a the bush cutter rod and shaft. Those pieces, uh, basically the picture shows what it has. It's everything except the motor, which I have. And I mentioned in my last video that, you know, I thought it was this and I thought it was that. And this thing was only, this whole thing was only, I think it was less than 500 baht, whatever. You know, 15 bucks or something for this whole thing. And uh, yeah, man, definitely a, a key buy. Happy about that. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> I think it does. I think it will. It says GX50. I don't know if mine's GX50, but here, man, check it out. This is my basket that I made at the Obito in my in my in my creative. Pretty creative. Everybody, there's like three. If you were good, you knew how to do it, you could make like a big old basket. But I didn't make a big old basket, although I did make a couple more pavers. 
see if they turned out all right. I'm gonna have a brush, but <sighs> forgot to wipe them down before. Oh, ow! Oh. Mm. Eh. They're the ones that put like a. Uh, rocks you know colored rocks in there and i just put some on the edge it's not really a big pattern but after after you, you walk on it and wear it down a little bit it'll show up a little better i also painted i painted this over and i painted that over uh the top portion that i sealed up in there still have to put that uh what do you call that foam up there in the very crack but I'm gonna mount this up here so my fishing poles go here. What do you think? Pretty cool. Ah, watch out. Yeah. So that was that. Yeah, it was pretty cool. They gave you a, they gave you a break in the morning and you had like a little snack or whatever. And then uh, they broke for lunch and they provided a lunch, like a little buffet line kind of. Typical village kind of lunch, you know. Uh, which is basically super hot pepper stuff and some soup. <laughs> the wind when we were over there. Oh my God, I see that. Oh shit. Check it out. I don't know if you can see that, but that thing is bent man i mean these aren't the strongest things this one was down just like this when we got home and i'm not really in the mood to fix it right now so i just on the poles the poles by themselves were here i just tied it down here with a t-shirt so it doesn't rattle around all night because it's still windy and if you look over there man that's some that's some gray ass clouds and this one too i just tied it down with a little piece of rope because and I, and I held that bar against the window there just keep it in place till I get to it I don't want to fix it now and then all of a sudden the wind picks up 20 minutes from now and does its job again but now that I see that freaking bent over there dang I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to redo that whole thing probably more robust you know they weren't that expensive. Well, they, actually, wait a minute. They were kind of expensive. It was like ten thousand baht, I think. Hey, how much were those canopies, Dot? The canopies, how much? Is that seven thousand baht? Ten thousand baht? Four thousand? We got the good ones, huh? Thirteen thousand baht. Ooh. So that's uh, that's a chunk of change right there, man. That's uh. So 3,400 is 100. They have about 400 bucks for one, two, three different canopies. So it's a thick material, but the pipes, psh, give me a break. They just don't don't handle it, man. Pipes are not what they used to be. I think I can buy, you know, steel pipe and go ahead and make it myself. Make some other kind. The one on this side is fine because the wind. Uh, this kind of wind, storm kind of winds, most often come from that side. The wind that you want to enjoy from just chilling comes from this side. Where the garden grows, where the trees are growing. These uh, ficus or whatever they are, I think they're ficus, some kind of ficus. Wall, they're taking off just in the last couple months they probably grew a foot and we're getting fatter the idea was that we were gonna that we wanted to have that hedge you know make it a hedge on both sides so you can walk through the hedge into the garden and um, like with these steps right here the idea is to go ahead and continue these steps I made these steps and now I was gonna make a pathway over to the sitting uh, crucible there or whatever. You know, 
cut through on the garden. Banana tree blew down over there. Bananas, they still got a few weeks to grow. So I just, it was, it was snapped over, but I just propped it up. You know, considering that, you know, it's mostly surviving off of water and stuff, it'll probably stay alive. We had one here, but we, we, we did save the bananas, but we didn't save the tree. But fortunately, within days after the, there was a young sprout, but now it's already taken off. This is all taken off this stuff here. The caprow. You know, we did lose a couple of the bigger ganja plants in the wind, but no problem. Still got the leaves. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty great, man. I gotta try and get to that... That sala out there before those massive rains come. Hmm. Alright, man. Well, quick little update. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you watched the whole video, thanks for watching. And keep watching. And I'll get back at you.